today is all about creating easy, easy prints. And I actually take two prints and create 10 cards out of them. Let's get to it. All right, so I'm working with two jelly plates. These are size eight by 10. And I'm just gonna start by squeezing out some acrylic paint onto the plate. I'm using different brands, different colors. I, I Use what you got. If you got acrylic paint, whatever you got, use it. Don't be running out and buying anything, all right? I think the only thing that you need for this is a gel plate. So once I squeeze out some different colors here, I'm gonna start by brayering on the color. Now this mint color, I love it, but that was a really thick paint. I didn't realize that. So you'll see it's, it, it's gonna create beautiful, beautiful texture, but I really had to work at blending it out. And you can see the purple is just blending easy peasy. Now you may be wondering why I'm color covering up the mint. Have no fear. <laughs> I think with gel, printing. It's all about experimenting and having fun. Not everything is going to turn out beautiful. That's okay. No big deal. So I'm covering up some of the mint with the purple and now I'm covering up the purple with some of the green, but you'll see all these colors are going to peel back. You'll see. So this is a little splatter brush and I just, you can use a comb, whatever you got. And I'm just creating little lines in there. And then I'll take some white cardstock. This is very inexpensive. This is not my cardstock that I use for cards. This is index cardstock by Nina. Very inexpensive. You can use copy paper or whatever. And then I peel that back and I just love this like, it looks like I just painted this on there. It's like a little graffiti look and you can see some of that mint shining through. And then on this one, uh, you get all those cool scratch looks and you can still see all three of the colors shining through even though I pretty much covered them all up. This print still had a big blob of purple on there, so I'm just going to press some paper down in there and peel it up, and look what came up this time. I mean, this is my favorite out of all three. Look at that. Look at all the color that came up, and even that little crease there went into the print, and I just think that's so cool. So that was kind of prepping what I'm going to do for the two prints that I am going to create to turn into 10 different cards. So all that that's left on the plate is dry. I am in love with this color, even though it's really heavy paint. So I'm using it, baby. I bought it. I'm using it. Use what you got. Use what you got. Use what you got. You feel me? So I'm just going to brayer this out there, that mint color. It's going over all the leftover stuff that was already dried onto the plate. And you see, I have to keep adding more because I'm picking it up with my brayer, which is very interesting. Now I'm going to pick a little bit of that up. That's just some scratch paper that I'm using. I'm just going to pick a little bit of that mint up, not too much, a little bit of that mint paint. And uh, just to kind of, I still, you'll see where I'm going with this. This is really all about experimenting. Now, this was a print I didn't like. I'm, it's a personal preference. I'm not a big fan of yellow. Uh, but once I peel that up, look at all that transfer. I think that's a fun graffiti look. So now I'm going to let that dry. So the whole point of that was, was to just add a little bit more mint to the plate but not a whole bunch of mint. So that's why I took the paper and peeled up a little bit of that mint. So once that's dry, I am applying a super thin layer of blue paint. Very thin. I'm not going overboard. All right. It's very easy to go overboard because you'll be surprised at how little paint you actually need. Then I'm going to brayer on some of this gold. Again, I'm using all different brands of acrylic paint. You, I mean, whatever. You don't need to go out and buy expensive paint. Seriously. So I'm brayering that on, and then I thought, thought it was funny because some of the green paint transferred over to that left-hand side. You see that? I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'm leaving it. So once I've got the gold on there, uh, it's still wet, so I'm going to take some different stencils and just kind of press some patterns in. I have no idea if this is going to turn out. That's what I'm saying. I just don't know. Then as I brayer on a little bit more, I'm trying to brayer off some of that gold. More of that mint came through. Now I'm taking this stencil and just brayering on. There's no paint on that. I was just simply trying to press the stencil pattern into the plate. Then I'm going to take this tree stencil that is everything. And I'm just taking some paper because I really want to press that tree design into the plate. All right, so you can actually see the tree design sitting on that plate to the right. And then I went ahead and pressed it in with my fingers, just in little places, to the plate to the left, just to see what's going to happen. I don't know. I have no idea. So you can see the print of the tree in there. All right, so I am letting it dry. We're gonna just go with the flow, let it dry. You literally are watching paint dry. I think I went and ate a sandwich or something during this point, uh, but you gotta let it dry. And you have to think once it's dry, you are locking in whatever is under that color. 
All right, whatever color you're putting down now, whatever's dry is locked in. So I'm gonna add some more gold. All right, then I'm sorry, my, my overhead camera did not film for some reason, but I'm adding a little bit of black around the edges to the plate that you can't hardly see and a little black to the plate that you can't see. Uh, I, again, I'm sorry that the over the head camera didn't pick this up. Brr. So at this point, the one that's closest to me, I want to kind of pull some of that paint back up. So I'm going to take two plate pieces of cardstock there and pull up some prints. And I love this one, how it leaves all that splotches behind. And I pulled a little bit up on the plate you can't see. I'm bummed. Let it dry. And then we're going to go in with one final coat of paint. So this one, I'm just brayering on black. And then you can see I laid the stencil back down on the plate at the top of the screen. And I'm going to brayer black right over that. All right. That's all I'm going to do. So I let everything dry underneath again to lock it all in. And then I'm applying black. And then I'm going to take the print and push down right over the stencil. And when I pull it up, let me show it again. I took a print, a white piece of cardstock, placed it right down over the plate that has the paint and the stencil on it, pull it up and look at this. I got the mint, I got the purple, I got some green, I've got texture. This is just unbelievably cool. And here's what the plate looks like. Once I took the print, you can still see the tree design on it. You can still see the gold. You can still see the black. And then we've still got the plate to the left that has the mint on it. So at this point, I'm going to add some white. So this is all dry. Both of the plates are dry. And I'm going to go in and brayer on some white. And I'm just going to play around. I'm really only focusing on trying to get one print. I want another tree print, the, the plate to the left that still has that tree outline on it. But I've got both plates out, so I'm going to go ahead and play with both plates. So I'm just going to brayer on some white acrylic paint. While I'm doing that, I did want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. You know I'm a huge fan of Skillshare. They are a platform of amazing things. Here's just a quick screen grab of me searching for gel printing over on Skillshare. And uh, I've got free two months for you. So be sure to click the link in the description below if you want to give Skillshare a try for free. So once I've got the white on both plates, and at this point, I've got both plates out, I'm going to use them, but I'm thinking I'm going to use that plate to the left as almost like a palette for me. I still get a, will get a print off of it, but I want to use it as a palette. So I'm putting a heavy coating of pink down, and then I'm going to use whatever pink is left on the brayer and roll it out to the plate on the right. Now the plate on the right still has the tree imprint in there. Keep that in mind. Then I went to the kitchen, grabbed some aluminum foil, <laughs> crumpled it up in a ball, and I'm basically going to dab the aluminum foil on the plate with all the pink on it, and it's basically going to create a little texture on that plate for whatever print I'm going to grab. But then I'm going to transfer it over to the plate on the right. I want a deeper impression of pink in there, but I also want some more texture. So that's what I'm doing here. And once I'm happy with how it looks, I'm going to put the paper down, and let's give it a pull and see what happens. I always do a little peek. It's okay to peek. It's not Christmas morning where you're not supposed to be peeking at your presents. So I'm going to pull that up and that is a very interesting print. I can build on that and really have some fun with that. So I'm going to keep that, but now I'm going to pull up the print to the right, which is really what my goal was for today. These two tree prints. I pull it up and holy guacamole. Look, look how, look at that little subtle pink, the texture from the aluminum foil. I see blue, I see pink, I see black, I see green. All the stuff that we built up on came out on that print and I loved it. Now I actually took these two eight and a half by 11, well they're eight by 10 prints really, and I turned them into these 10 cards. Now these 10 cards are inspired by a sketch. I heard a lot of people say they struggle with how to do layouts on their cards. So this is a video that I, I'm going to put up next week that's going to show how I used a sketch to create these cards. But I did want to show you two prints, 10 cards, hello. Hello, easy peasy prints. Here's a crafter map. I always want to show a crafter map <laughs> of my room. There's look at my little dog, Max. If you can do a couple of prints and get multiple cards out of them, why not do it? Art is not supposed to be stressful. It's supposed to be fun. And I hope that's what you got from today's video. So be sure to subscribe because next week I'm going to have that video all about sketch layouts. I'll have a, fun, a free PDF for you. And then we'll take a look at these cards I created from these two prints. See you then.